An Internet Café also known as a cyber café is a café that provides Internet access to the public. The fee for using a computer is generally charged as a time-based rate. Topic history The first online café in South Korea called Electronic Café opened in front of Hongguk University in March 1988 by Ahn Sang-soo and Kiem Nuri in Seoul. It had two 16-bit computers connected to online service networks through telephone lines. Online service users' offline meetings were held in the Electronic Café, which served as a place that connected online and offline activities. The opening of the online café in Korea was two to three years ahead of other countries. The online café phenomenon in the United States was started in July 1991 by Wayne Gregory in San Francisco when he began SF Net Coffeehouse Network. Gregory designed, built and installed 25 coin-operated computer terminals in coffee houses throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. The cafe terminals dialed into a 32-line bulletin board system that offered an array of electronic services including Fidonet Mail and, in 1992, Internet Mail. The concept of a cafe with full Internet access and the name Cybercafe was invented in early 1994 by Ivan Pope. Commissioned to develop an Internet event for an arts weekend at the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, and inspired by the SF Net terminal-based cafes, Pope wrote a proposal outlining the concept of a café with Internet access. After an initial run in late 1993 as a café showcasing computers, a bar called Compute Café was established in Helsinki, Finland in the spring of 1994 featuring both internet access and a robotic beer cellar. Around June 1994, the Binary Café, Canada's first internet café, opened in Toronto, Ontario. Inspired partly by the ICA event, a commercial establishment of this type, called Cyberia, opened on September 1, 1994, in London, England. In January 1995, CB1 Café in Cambridge, installed an internet connection and is the longest-running internet café in the UK, still operating today. The first public, commercial American internet café was conceived and opened by Jeff Anderson and Alan Weinkrantz in August 1994, at Infomart in Dallas, Texas, and was called the High Tech Café. The Scottish Bar is the first internet café in French-speaking Switzerland, connected on June 27, 1995, by Pierre Hemmer and his company MC Management and Communication. Three Internet cafes subsequently opened in the East Village neighborhood of New York City, Internet Café, opened by Arthur Purley, The At Café, and The Heroic Sandwich. In 1996, the Internet Café Surf City opened in downtown Anchorage, Alaska. A variation of Internet Café called PC Bang similar to LAN gaming centers became extremely popular in South Korea when StarCraft was released in 1998. Although computer and broadband penetration per capita were very high, young people went to PC banks to play multiplayer games. Topic: Characteristics. Internet cafes are located worldwide and many people use them when traveling to access webmail and instant messaging services to keep in touch with family and friends. Apart from travelers, in many developing countries Internet cafes are the primary form of Internet access for citizens as a shared access model is more affordable than personal ownership of equipment and or software. A variation on the Internet cafe business model is the LAN gaming center, used for multiplayer gaming. These cafes have several computer stations connected to a LAN. The connected computers are custom assembled for gameplay, supporting popular multiplayer games. This is reducing the need for video arcades and arcade games, many of which are being closed down or merged into Internet cafes. The use of Internet cafes for multiplayer gaming is particularly popular in certain areas of Asia like India, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, South Korea and the Philippines. In some countries, since practically all LAN gaming centers also offer Internet access, the terms Net Cafe and LAN Gaming Center have become interchangeable. Again, this shared access model is more affordable than personal ownership of equipment and or software, especially since games often require high-end and expensive PCs. There are also Internet kiosks, Internet access points in public places like public libraries, airport halls, sometimes just for brief use while standing. 
Many hotels, resorts, and cruise ships offer Internet access for the convenience of their guests. This can take various forms, such as in room wireless access, or a web browser that uses the in room television set for its display. Usually, in this case, the hotel provides a wireless keyboard on the assumption that the guest will use it from the bed, or computers that guests can use, either in the lobby or in a business center. As with telephone service, in the U.S. most mid-price hotels offer Internet access from a computer in the lobby to registered guests without charging an additional fee, while fancier hotels are more likely to charge for the use of a computer in their business center. For those traveling by road in North America, many truck stops have Internet kiosks, for which a typical charge is around 20 cents per minute. Internet cafes come in a wide range of styles, reflecting their location, main clientele, and sometimes, the social agenda of the proprietors. In the early days, they were important in projecting the image of the Internet as a cool phenomenon. Evolution <inaudible> 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 Internet cafes are a natural evolution of the traditional café. Cafés started as places for information exchange, and have always been used as places to read the paper, send postcards home, play traditional or electronic games, chat to friends, find out local information. As Internet access is in increasing demand, many pubs, bars and cafés have terminals, so the distinction between the Internet café and normal café is eroded. In some, particularly European countries, the number of pure Internet cafes is decreasing since more and more normal cafes offer the same services. However, there are European countries where the total number of publicly accessible terminals is also decreasing. An example of such a country is Germany. The cause of this development is a combination of complicated regulation, relatively high internet penetration rates, the widespread use of notebooks, tablets and smartphones and the relatively high number of wireless internet hotspots. Many pubs, bars and cafes in Germany offer wireless internet, but no terminals since the internet café regulations do not apply if no terminal is offered. Additionally, the use of Internet cafes for multiplayer gaming is very difficult in Germany since the Internet café regulations and a second type of regulations which was originally established for video arcade centers applies to this kind of Internet cafes. It is, for example, forbidden for people under the age of 18 to enter such an Internet café, although particularly people under 18 are an important group of customers for this type of Internet café. While most Internet cafes are private businesses many have been set up to help bridge the digital divide, providing computer access and training to those without home access. For example, the UK government has supported the setting up of 6,000 telecenters. In Asia, gaming is very popular at the Internet cafes. This popularity has helped create a strong demand and a sustainable revenue model for most Internet cafes. With growing popularity, there also comes with this a responsibility as well. In fighting for competitive market share, the Internet cafes have started charging less and hence are adopting alternate means to maximize revenue. This includes selling food, beverages, game and telephone cards to its patrons. By 2010, a variation of the Internet cafe known as a sweepstakes parlor had become widespread in certain regions of the United States. These facilities offer entries in a contest to customers who purchase Internet usage. The result of the customer's entries are revealed using software installed on the computer terminals, which may simulate the appearance and operation of casino games such as a slot machine. Although meant to resemble it, these sweepstakes and software are designed in such a way that they could legally be considered sweepstakes rather than gambling. Sweepstakes parlors have faced scrutiny by local governments, who have argued that despite arguments claiming otherwise, sweepstakes parlors are a form of illegal gambling, and their patrons are more interested in playing the sweepstakes than actually using their purchased internet time. A large number of these locations have faced raids by officials, while a number of states have enacted laws meant to ban them. Topic: Legal issues. 
In 2003 the Easy Internet Café chain was found liable for copyright infringement occurring when customers used its CD burning service to burn illegally downloaded music to their own CDs. In 2005 Italy began requiring entities such as Internet Cafés to collect photocopies of the passports of Internet, phone, or fax using customers as a result of anti-terrorism legislation passed in July of that year. Venues Australia Net Café opened in St Kilda at the Deluxe Café on April 4, 1995, inspired by the Internet Café phenomenon that was going on in Seattle. As Australia's first Internet Café, founders included Gavin Murray, Rita Arrigo and Christopher Beaumont. Direct from London Cyberia we were joined by Catherine Phelps and partnerships with Adam Gowdy of Standard Computers for Hardware and Michael Bethune from Australia Online, Australia's first ISP for of course our Internet access. In 1995 it was delivered via a standard analog phone line using a 9600 board US robotics modem. Cafe.on.net also opened on Rundle Street in Adelaide in 1995, with the support of Internode's Simon Hackett. Brazil In Brazil, the initial concept brought by Monkey Paulista was based on the business model used by Internet cafes in South Korea. Since this was the first house land to exist in Brazil, inaugurated in Sao Paulo, starting its activities in 1998. The company closed in 2010. However, just a week later for reasons of bureaucracy, the company LAN game at the house was opened and today is the first LAN house of Brazil in activity. Today it is seen as the country as a way to test new technologies and demonstration of games and products. <laughs> Mainland China According to the Survey of China Internet Café Industry by the People's Republic of China Ministry of Culture in 2005, mainland China has 110,000 Internet cafes, with more than 1 million employees contributing 18 billion 500 million yuan to PR. China's GDP. More than 70% of Internet cafe visitors are from 18 to 30 years old. 90% are male, 65% are unmarried, and 54% hold a university degree. More than 70% of visitors play computer games. 20% of China's Internet users go to Internet cafes. Internet cafes allow individuals to go about the Internet anonymous, faster, and cheaper than at home. Large Internet cafes of major cities in China are expensive and heavily regulated by government officials. Large Internet cafes are used by wealthy elite for business transactions and social gatherings. The majority of Internet cafes are small privately owned cafes comprising 90% of the market. China Tightening Control, 2003. The majority of Internet cafes are unregistered because they do not meet the requirements of government standards or they do not want to go through the lengthy process of registering. According to Hong and Huang, only 200 out of 2,400 cafes are registered in Beijing. The Chinese government is cracking down on the number of unregistered Internet cafes because some users spread propaganda, slander, allow pornography, and allow underage users. Crackdowns by Chinese government officials banned 17,488 Internet cafes in 2002 and another 27,000 were banned in 2003. J. Hong, L. Huang Internet cafes that are getting closed are being replaced with government-approved businesses. These pre-approved businesses monitor patrons' activities and help the government crack down on offending users. CO, 2003, QIU 2003 Milestones Before 1995 an Internet cafe called 3C Plus T appeared in Shanghai, probably the first in China. The price was 20 yuan per hour 2 dollars and 50 cents per hour. 1995-1998 China's Internet cafes proliferate. Playing unconnected games is the main purpose of cafe users. The average price was 15 to 20 yuan per hour. After 2002 heavy censorships were imposed, including real name registration. 
At the end of 2004, more than 70,000 Internet cafes were closed in a nationwide campaign. 2008 – Microsoft attempts to make Internet cafes profitable in Asia and other emerging markets. After discussions with the governments of these countries, it helps to establish safe Internet cafes. India In India, Internet cafes are used by travelling people and business is declining since the arrival of widespread mobile Internet usage. A set of other services are also offered, such as printing of documents or web pages. Operators also help computer illiterates through some government processes as a part of e-governance in India. Low speed of mobile Internet and these services offered by Internet cafes help its survival. In India a positive government ID is compulsory for Internet cafe users in most states. Indonesia According to Appcomitel Association of Community Internet Center, there are 5,000 Internet cafes in urban Indonesian cities in 2006 providing computer, printer, scanner rentals, training, PC gaming and Internet access, rental to people without computer or Internet access. The website also contains a directory listing some of these Warnet, Telecenter, GameCenter in Indonesia. In urban areas, the generic name is Warnet or Warung Internet and in rural areas the generic name is Telecenter. Warnets, netcalfs are usually privately owned as bottom-up initiatives, while telecenters in rural villages are typically government or donor funded as top-down financing. Information on Netcafe, Warnet in Indonesia can also be found in a book titled, Connected for Development, Indonesian Case Study. Currently, no special license is required to operate an Internet cafe or Warnet in Indonesia, except for the ordinary business license applicable to cafes or small shops. Because of hype and poor business planning, many net cafes have closed down. Although the number of Internet cafes are growing, associations such as Appcomitel urge new Internet cafe owners to do a feasibility study before planning to open an Internet cafe, and provide a business model called Multipurpose Community Internet Center or MCI Center to make the business more sustainable and competitive. Hourly usage rate varies between RP2500 $27 to $1.60. <inaudible> Japan Japan has a strong Internet cafe culture, with most serving a dual purpose as joint Internet manga cafes. Most chains like Media Cafe Popeye and GU Kuken allow offer customers a variety of seating options, including normal chair, massage chair, couch, and flat mat. Customers are then typically given unlimited access to soft drinks, manga, magazines, internet, online video games, and online pornography. Most offer food and shower services for an additional fee. In fact, many purchase night packs and shower, sleep in the cafes, giving rise to a phenomenon known as net cafe refugee or net cafe homeless. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Kenya. Internet cafes are prevalent in the city of Mombasa as poverty and unreliable infrastructure do not make personal internet a viable option for many citizens. The cafes are often combined with a variety of other businesses, such as chemists, manicurists, repair shops, and convenience stores. Video gaming has become particularly profitable in Internet cafes in Kenya in recent years. Philippines <inaudible> 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 In the Philippines, Internet cafes or better known as computer shops are found on every street in major cities and there is at least one in most municipalities or towns. There are also Internet cafes in coffee shops and malls. High-end restaurants and fast food chains also provide free broadband to diners. Rates range from P10 20 cents on streets, up to P100 $2 in malls. In some major cities with existing ordinances regulating Internet cafes e.g. Valenzuela, Marikina, Davao, Lapu-Lapu and Zamboanga, students who are below 18 years old are prohibited from playing computer games during regular class hours. Depending on the city, regulations varies on their exact details and implementation. 
Such city ordinances usually also requires Internet cafe owners to Install filtering software to block adult-oriented sites Prohibit the sales of intoxicating drinks and cigarettes inside their establishment Allow open view of rented computers i.e. no closed cubicles Front wall panel is 50% transparent to allow a clear view of the interior of the establishment Adequate lighting both inside and outside of the establishment to allow a clear view of the interior at all times. Topic: <inaudible> Slovakia. In Slovakia, the first internet cafe was opened officially in the city of Košice on July 17, 1996, providing services such as email, Gopher, News, Telnet, www, Talk, and others to the general public. Topic. South Korea In South Korea, Internet cafes are called PC Bangs. They are ubiquitous in South Korean cities, numbering over 20,000. PC Bangs mostly cater to online game playing for the younger generation. On average and mode, use of a PC Bang computer is priced at around 1,000 won per hour about 88 cents USD. Topic. Taiwan Internet cafes are omnipresent in Taiwan, and especially concentrated in major cities, namely Taipei and Koxiang. The Internet cafe is called a Wongka Wongka in traditional Chinese. The first character literally means net, and the second character is the first syllable of cafe. The rate is consistent at about $10 approximately 20 in the most part, but prominent districts, such as the Eastern District of Taipei, can charge users up to $35 per hour. With the growth of smartphone ownership and free Wi-Fi networks in all major public attractions, the Internet cafes now primarily cater to gamers, and some even provide food and drinks. Vietnam. In Vietnam, many people go to Internet cafes for 25 cents an hour, as it is very cheap for them. Internet cafe in Vietnamese is Quan Net or TM Net. Quan TM mean store and Net means Net Internet. Topic: <laughs> United States. Reputedly, the first kosher cybercafe was the IDT Cafe in New York City's Diamond District, opened in the spring of 1997. Topic. See also. Kiosk software. Public computer. Equals equals notes. <laughs>